One of the things that I am most proud of is the community that we've created here at TSL at Ostomance Development because we, we've created such an open space for people to be able to talk and express things while also having the accountability there to you know be your best self. If you're gonna be your best self, if you're gonna take yourself seriously, man, we expect you to do that. And that's really what we do and definitely check it out and all sorts of stuff. But we're on our Wednesday night call. We're on the fundamentals call for the men's development excellence group and also some of the TSL guys have trickled in. It's, it's actually like 17 people on right now talking. And we're talking about the man that you want to be. The man that you want to be. This is something that we all know. If I say it to you now, you kind of think of an idea of it. But even then, we haven't really given it thought. We haven't been able to define it. We haven't been able to articulate it for ourselves, to really know it, to get to know it. And we haven't gotten to the point, usually, where we can articulate it and explain it to somebody else. Who's the man that we want to be, right? And see, the interesting thing for it is that we have a social exercise that's attached to this for the week. But the interesting thing is, is there's the man who we want to be, and there's the man who we are. And a lot of those times, there's this huge detachment between both of them. We got to be honest about that. This is one of the things we're discovering, man. We're walking through so much of it. The man that we want to be has to do with ideals. It has to do with image of what we see, what we can imagine. It's, it's truly a fantasy of what we want, of what we value, of what we have dreamt about. And the interesting thing about the man that we want to be is throughout my entire life that I've always had an idea of this. It may not have been the uh, exact, uh, you know, like, this ex exercise, but I've always had a vision of who I wanted to be. My life has never become that. Most people don't admit that. And I don't know why, because it's not the truth. You, you cannot make that clear of a prediction. Wouldn't it be great if we, we could? You know, and so much of the coaching industry is dependent upon these predictions and how successful we are with them. But the man that I've wanted to be has never actually manifested into itself. But my pursuit in being on that road of the man who I wanted to be has made me the man who I am. There's a little bit of a difference here because if I don't have that pursuit or if I don't have that direction or if I say, you know what, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to put that on the back burner. And I'm just going to go with the flow. Then I become not the man who I am, but I become the man who I should be. I, I let other people choose for me. My life becomes a reaction. I build up resentments. I build up thinking that I'm not good enough, that I haven't been where I need to be and so on. And, and man, to be honest, I have now laid the foundation for being unhappy, for wanting more, for needing more, to buy into a fantasy, to need help, to think that I can't do it myself. I've lost the power within me and I get caught up in this place where I become, you know, hey, a uh, uh, a self-help junkie or one of these people and like so many people you know lacking in purpose lacking in drive and thinking that they're not good enough and that they can't do it and buy and setting yourself up basically to be ripped off and burned by a bunch of people and so i want to talk about this because we're talking about here on the call is where there's the man that you want to be in and go for that go for that that should be you should know that you should know what that is but not know what it is so that it has to be it so that your definition has to be airtight so that you're this focused robot of self-help and society, but so that you can have a point on the map to go, so that you can get walking, so that you can take yourself seriously, so that you can get to know your ideals, your values, who you are, what you believe in, and start living for that. And guess what? That alone is very difficult, but you're probably going to miss the mark many times. And that's fine because that gets you to the man that you are. And the man that you are, if it is too far or too separate from the man that you want to be, and the man that you are, you start to build the separation. And what goes in between that separation is the guilt, the shame, the thinking I'm different, the thinking that it's impossible, the thinking that I'm fundamentally flawed. And it's a huge problem. And, and you know, just to get some, uh, some specifics, the man that I want to be is a, a man that loves, that lives spiritually, that lives, is uh, a great father, is somebody who can, you know, be at peace with himself. To not need society to define me, but to find the peace in the middle of the storm all the time. The reality of it is, is the man that I am gets mad a lot. The reality of it is the man that I am can be a good father, but in other areas be a terrible father. The reality of it is, is that I am confused a lot of the time. And if I'm so caught up in that image and that ideal and not seeing that it's something that I have to work for, and I'm just so caught up of it having to be, 
then I start hiding that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm a good father here because that fits my image. But here, I'm not going to tell you about this situation. Or, I've been a terrible father. I'm not going to tell you this other situation where I am confused because I'm always supposed to know what's going on. I'm not going to tell you this other situation where I'm afraid or I don't know how to handle something or I can't articulate myself. And I'm becoming the problem that's obvious that everybody sees in society that I'm running from and I run, 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 and I keep it separate and I compartmentalize my life and in order for anything to make sense, I have to have control. And in order for me to express, I have to have a rule. And then in order for me to have a relationship, I have to have another rule. And by the time I start to put myself out there, share who I am and what my passions are, I have 25 different rules just to make a choice about a simple expression of what I feel. I cannot feel without running it through the filter of what I should be first. And see, that's the problem, man. Our exercise for the week of what we're doing on this call, if you want to take it, you can, uh, maybe I'll put up a download, a PDF of what we went over. It's very simple. Is we just, we, we meditate, we write upon who the man we want to be. What, what is that? Describe it. Everybody's going to be different. It might be to start a business, to fall into some leadership. It might be to make more money. It might be to be more spiritual. There's so many different interpretations of it and just different voicings and styles that men come up with. But we all have this. Then we want to ask a stranger. We want to ask a stranger, and this will confuse them. You should expect that. Who do you want to be in your life? They're going to be confused. And then you explain to them what you want to be. That's it. You just explain to them, well, look, I want to be this. I want to, I want to have these attributes in my life. And I'm working for it in so many different ways. I want you to get into that description. You need to be able to articulate it. They may not understand it, but you need to do your best job at it. There's something about that communication, that connection. There's something about that examining it and then sharing it with another human being that changes something at the core. And the third thing that we do is then re-examine it. We re-examine those things. We re-examine, well, wait a minute, did I just want this because I was in a an insecure mode. Did I just want this because I have a fantasy? Do I just, why do I want this? I mean, want itself, the desire to be is so based off of not having now. You know, why do I want to be dominant? Why do I want to be loving? Because I'm not fully that. You know, we get this weird argument with ourselves so that we can't be, right? How can we be, how can we exist? How can we express truly? Because expression isn't a reaction. It is an expression. So what we're then supposed to do is then write about it and talk about it on our board, our MD Excellence Board. But you could post about it on the free board, the Austin Men's Development Board, if you so like. But man, this sense of being in purpose, the sense of your ideal, the sense of the man that you want to be and the man that you are. Is there a conflict? Are we open with it and are we honest with it? The true solution to it, as we've done throughout the years, it's simple, it's basic, it doesn't sound too crazy or sexy or exciting, but the solution to it is, is that we just are able to be honest with it. Stop running, stop hiding. Stop needing to compartmentalize, redefine, make rules for and set boundaries and start to make choices, expressions, rather than reactions or confinements to who you are. Because when you do that, and we truly believe this, when you are living your social life, when you are living and expressing your sexual life, then you can't help but pursue being the greatest you. Because socializing and sex are just the, the core, core fundamentals of humanity, of being, of people, and all that sort of good stuff. And that's just how it works. That's how I've been doing it for over 10 years now. And hey, come on that journey. It's a great thing, man. And what a better way, what a better catalyst. You know, be social, be sexual. And in that, the excellence of life begins.